my lovely ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to talk about um, outfits for church actually. One of you asked me to do a video, what can we wear to church? And what is the really the dress code when it comes to church? And I feel like obviously there's lots of different religions and I don't really want to go deep about every religion. But I'm going to tell you more about like from my perspective, what can we wear to church and um, like, what is, you know, something that what we shouldn't wear to church, what kind of part of the body should we really cover? I personally think that there are really like three types of outfits you could wear to church when it comes to just like, a, I would say more, more like a Sunday um, day that you're going to church, something like this. I'm not even talking about this kind of like a, that you're going for a wedding, that someone is getting married and you are a guest. So obviously you have a little bit drift, different dress code as well for that occasion because you're going to be in the church just for a second, for a moment, and then you're going to have a all night party. So that's a little bit different when it comes to this kind of like a wedding occasions or some kind of like a, even if you're going for some kind of like occasion that is not really pleasant, like funeral, then obviously it's going to be different dress code as well. I'm just most strictly talking about um, dress code for like a normal day that you're just going for Sunday, mass and what you're going to wear basically in the church. And first I would say that, um, yeah, so we have like three different types I would say. You can wear a dress, you can wear a skirt or you can wear trousers. I wouldn't go far like you can wear some kind of jumpsuit or anything like this. No, I feel like those three are like, it's a lot of already, like you have so much different options that you wouldn't really go above that, I would say, per personally thinking. And uh, when it comes to dresses, um, and really when it comes to overall to the outfits, you should, when you're going to church and when you entrance, entrance the church, you should make sure that your knees you are covered. So if your dress is, if you decide to wear a dress, you need to have a dress that actually cover or a skirt cover your knees. When it comes to trousers, you will just go for full length. You're not going to have a shorts or anything like that. It's just, we're talking about like full, full normal standard trousers. And you should also cover your arms. So you shouldn't have any dress that actually has some kind of spaghetti strap, something that doesn't have any strap. So it's just like a, um, more like a party dress or something like this. You and, and going to the church, you need to respect, you know, even if you're not a religious person, you're going there because I don't know, you just are accompany someone. Because those situations happen as well. That sometimes we ask our friend to go with us who maybe not necessarily is the person who is very religious, but they just, you know, want to do it for us, then I would say cover your arms and um, cover your knees. That's that's like this, this, this part of your body should be covered. And then obviously you can go for a dress that has some kind of just like a, um, even s sleeves, they don't really need to be long sleeves, they can be like a shorter sleeves. You just want to cover this part of your body um, and you don't want this to be like visible in the church. That's just how it is, you know, it's a little bit similar maybe dress code when it comes to work as well. You don't really want to show too much of your body when you are in the work environment, but obviously church, you need to be respectful as well. So first I wanted to talk about dresses and dresses, obviously, as I'm saying, just need to think about the length. It just up behind your knee. It's going to be perfect. Maybe short sleeve, maybe long sleeve. This is just really up to you how you feel. If you want to show your arm, if it's very, very warm, then obviously maybe you don't necessarily want to wear long sleeve because you don't want to be too warm. But there's so many different dresses. Obviously, the most flattering going to be those that are going to be maybe have a little bit uh, accent on your waist and then maybe like loose on the bottom. Those are going to be very, very feminine. You want to be in the church and you want to feel like you are more a woman rather than a man, if you know what I mean. So you want to be more like feminine, have this kind of femininity to you. And obviously, wearing already, like if you decide to wear trousers, then it is comfort as well, you know, when I was um, having the baptism of my um, son, this was during the COVID, so we couldn't really have more than I think 10 people or something. And I actually, this was as well, he was, oh, he was I think six months. So I didn't really feel comfortable at this stage to wear dress because, you know, after your belly, you know, I it's just a little bit more conscious about stuff. So I was wearing trousers and um, just from the reason of being comfortable, you know, and I knew that I'm going to pick up my son all the time. 
and just wearing a dress at this stage I wasn't really feeling like that's for me but uh, now you know I will probably go to church for some kind of Sunday mass like we were planning to go during the Easter but unfortunately we didn't we couldn't go then um, I would wear probably some kind of dress or something like this or a skirt skirts are really nice as well so yeah so when it comes to when we move in skirts um, and the colors, maybe I will mention, mention some colors as well here. The same will be for the dresses, really. Go for some kind of more feminine colors, to so go for some kind of pastel. Don't go for very, very dark. The only thing, I think, dark a color that looks really good in church, maybe it's some kind of navy. Um, I would really avoid some kind of red dresses, very strong pink, like magenta. Those colors are not really for that occasion. It's better go for white. You can still wear some kind of maybe white and black if you if you like this kind of combination, but just don't make it too dark, you know, because again, black color we wearing as a like a Catholic, we wearing black for the funerals. I know some different cultures may be wearing white for funerals. So obviously, whatever your culture is, you need to as well, you know, amend that, yeah. But um, I'm talking strictly about my more my culture, like European more culture. And I would just say, um, wearing some kind of nice pastels, wearing some kind of gentle colors are going to be more your friend rather than going for very, very dark colors. The most beautiful and the most flattering dresses for the church, I would say they're going to be those kind of like a mite on the circle. So we're not really looking for a pencil skirt here. We're not really want to look very sexy in the church that's not the place for that i would say go rather again more loose on the bottom so you can have a nice you know waist but just go a little bit more open and more like um, volume on the bottom rather than very very like a attach um, or leather skirt or some kind of pencil skirt those not going to be really great for the church so just you know a fabric as well <laughs> makes a difference here you don't really want to like i said you don't want to really wear leather um, dress or leather skirt to church that's just not the place for that you want to wear materials that are more like feminine again but not necessarily sexy if you really want to wear like you know some you have nice pencil skirt i have a picture here i wanted to show you because in this situation lady she doesn't really look sexy you know it's it's about like if your pencil skirt is not going to make you look very very sexy then it's okay to wear it like over here this lady she has kind of a beautiful like a turtleneck um, jumper and then the skirt have the similar colors some kind of flowers on it so it looks more feminine rather than looking vulgar or looking just like too squeezing her the skirt as well is not very very squeezing it is showing her shape but it doesn't create this kind of like very very like it's there are this type of uh, pencil skirts that they are can like squeeze you really much and that's not this type of skirt so this I, I would say this is really still a nice outfit for the church because as well of the design of the skirt so this is not a plain color and um, it has something going on, on on it it makes it interesting and makes it more feminine because there are some kind of flowers some kind of butterflies I think it's flowers uh, some kind of flowers so that as well change uh, a little bit about colors is what I want to mention because I didn't I said don't wear that's kind of like a very strong magenta color but it doesn't mean that you can't wear pink I have a here picture as well of another woman she's wearing again skirt with a beautiful pink uh, blouse and um, again this kind of more like a turtleneck I would say and there are like black elements to it it's, it looks very very rich looks um, very nice as well it looks like it's beautiful outfit for a church and uh, this is just absolutely fine, you know, it looks really, really nice. It doesn't look um, provoca provocative or anything like this. It looks really, really nice, even though she is still putting accent, you know, on her figure because obviously she has the top is a little bit more like squeezing, but it's not like just too much, you know, it's because it's as well covered in the right areas. It just absolutely looks beautiful. It's balanced, lovely, and she looks absolutely gorgeous. So third, you can wear obviously trousers, as I mentioned, you're not going to go for any shorts, you're just talking about full length trousers or some kind of three quarters, let's, let's call it, that's like the minimum length three quarters. That, I think trousers are great, like I said, you don't feel like that's the day you want to wear skirt, you don't feel like you want to wear a dress, trousers are absolutely fine. Going for more natural colors, again, not bringing too much attention to yourself, that's quite important when you are in church. 
um, covering again you're going to be covered because obviously you're not going to wear shorts but you're going to have a trousers uh, leggings are no for the church um, but obviously some kind of different material trousers just we're talking about trousers not really jeans you can wear jeans to the church it's just like really too casual it's still the environment that you want to show you respect it you know even if you're not very really religious and going there you still want to show that you respect other religions you know that's that's just how it is um and that's how it should be at least you should i feel like you shouldn't wear jeans in the church so we're talking about some kind of fabrics of uh, trousers that are a little bit more elegant and then obviously blouse is just really up to you i have here this lovely outfit that again you could work probably wear that to work as well but i think like it could work for church so a woman she has this kind of like a more loose top with this kind of like a white and black elements and then you have a pink um trousers those are like i would say yeah, normal length trousers, some kind of heels. And again, when it comes to heels to shoes, um, I think heels are going to be okay, but you know, you don't really want to go for very, like very high heels. This is again, again, a church. It's not a party. It's not a um, place that you, you know, you want to look like, like very, very business or professional. That's that's not what we're looking here for. I think like ballerina shoes are okay for church because obviously sometimes you're not going to sit, you're going to stand whole mass. So it's 40 minutes or one hour and you're going to stand. So for some ladies standing in heels might be quite awkward, quite not comfortable. Kitten heels are absolutely fine. And then we're talking about like a normal type seven um, centimeters heels, I would say max would be a really, really great. Not going to talk about the stilettos that they are like very, very long. And um, it's just, this is not the place for that again. Do you know, it's all about this kind of like a common sense as well. I would say we don't really going to wear something in a church that is very like a, um, sexy shoes or something that's super colorful. It's not bringing too much attention to yourself. It's having this kind of modesty. When it comes to church, we want to be a little bit more modest than if we would be um, in a different part of our environment. So if you go to see your friends or see your mom, think about this, that you want to be a little bit more modest than that um, when you're coming to church. I feel like white trousers are really, really great as well because you can just wear those for so many occasions. So you basically have one pair of trousers that you can just wear them everywhere. So um, white trousers are absolutely fine when it comes to church. Obviously, when you're coming to church, you just need to make sure when you're sitting on the bench that, you know, it's clean. That's, that's you know, the only thing I would say with white trousers. But apart from that, they're absolutely fine. Um, any like a blush pink, maybe some kind of bronze, beige, trousers are absolutely great for that occasion. I'll probably avoid this kind of like very dark trousers like black. Um, again, there's this something about the navy that works for church, but uh, maybe gray. Keeping it a little bit in a brighter color is just, I think in my personal opinion, better when it comes to uh, ladies and um, like a dress code for their church. Okay, so this is it for today. Um, I think this was very interesting to actually look for those outfits because um, when you actually think about this, for me, it was always that you need to cover your um, knees, you need to have like cover your thighs, you need to cover your arms as well. That's like the most important. But obviously there are elements and there are fabrics you don't really want to wear when it comes to church. Um, and more focusing on this kind of loose, loose and I would say obviously comfortable, but looking elegant, not looking too casual as well. I would say that's quite important. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and please leave me a comment if you have any other ideas for the videos and see you in the next one.